Now, in this requirement, we have uh, issue related to or requirement related to asset accounting is there. So asset accounting point of view, the question will be the client report that the depreciation of the asset is not calculated correctly after acquisition means they have acquired a new asset and in the new asset, the depreciation, whatever they, they are expecting, it is not properly coming and it is also fi impacting our financial statements. So how you are going to resolve this issue? Now in this case, first you have to understand what is the different depreciation keys are assigned related to the asset accounting. Okay, either you got the ticket or you got the question in your interview. So from where I'm going to get all this information, so I will go to the AS03, Asset Accounting Master, and in AS03, I will check what are the different depreciation keys are assigned related to the Asset Master. Or And second thing, I also I will ensure that the properly, as per the business need, the right depreciation key is maintained or not. So I found that the depreciation key is perfectly maintained. There is no issue with the depreciation key. Maybe then configuration issue because the depreciation is not correctly coming. So maybe in the dep uh, your depreciation key or the depreciation key, whatever it is assigned, it is not configured correctly. Then next, I'm going to check FMA, that configuration, the depreciation key configuration. So there we will see what type of configuration it is, what we are expecting, the requirement wise, the configuration is not there. It's a very critical configuration. So if you're familiar with the depreciation key, so you need to check what are the areas, the details you are going to configure. If you corrected that one, then after that, you are going to run the report in the test mode. Use the transaction code AFABN to uh, run the depreciation in the test mode to check whether it is correctly coming now or not because you did the modification your depreciation key. If that one is correct, then you need to post one adjustment depreciation. So you are going to normal depreciation AFAB. In this case, depreciation is already posted. After that, you did the modification. So for that purpose, you are going to run the AFAR. Right? So if you want more practical scenario related to this one, because it's a very uh, critical scenario, if you have anything, you can try it, or if you need a more practical uh, scenario on this, what I explained, comment, add in the comments, I will create one scenario and I will show you in the next video. First, I need to get all the information from, uh, as I received this ticket, so I need to gather or I need to investigate this one. So I need to go to the asset master. Let's say asset master is, number is uh, 1000. Right, so I need to check particularly the depreciation keys, which already we have configured during our development and those informations I'm going to get it from the depreciation areas. So first check whether all the depreciation keys are properly assigned to the asset master or not. And these depreciation keys, which we are configuring under our AFMA. So that configuration first you need to check. So I found that the depreciation keys are properly assigned and uh, or something wrongly assigned here so we have to check the business requirement wise the depreciation keys are assigned or not now in this case i, I can uh, see that depreciation keys are there so if something is not applied the as per the need then that adjustment you have to do once this part is confirmed or this part is done then we are going to check our uh, in test mode we are going to run the depreciation right so after after doing the correction so you can use the transaction code FABN so take your uh, that particular asset maybe you can specify or you can go for a complete run so okay so just I'm going to show you and uh, specify your posting period let's say I will select here 06 okay and just check so here you are going to check whether the depreciation figure is properly coming or not because you did the correction in your depreciation keys in your asset master. So if it is okay, then go for corrections. So first we check asset master, then we check the depreciation keys in asset master, then we uh, run the depreciation in the test run calculated correctly or not. Then after that, we will do the recalculation of depreciation. Here you can see there is no error. Assume that I fix this issue, then I will go to my correction entries or um, recalculation depreciation transaction code AFAR and specify here your uh, all details and execute. So it is calculation of your depreciation for the adjustment purpose.